the best graphics and settings of this game. It's gonna blow your mind. Take a look. So this is what I see on the lowest low settings. You can see my frames. Still don't look too bad. If you guys got a low end computer, it's going to be the lowest low and then we're going to bump it up. I'll show you how to do that. You go to Windows full screen, select your monitor. If it's not already selected, you should automatically select it. I'm in NVIDIA DLSS on quality. If you guys leave it in TAA high, and your computer can handle it. TAA high. It's the. I'm not seeing much of a difference. Quality's a little bit better. Frames not so much different. So if you have a high end computer, I would leave it on TAA high. But if you have a lower grade, uh, like below 3,000 series cards, use the NV, uh, the Nvidia DLSS. Set it on quality. You're gonna have all these. All right. I, I put it on quality and see how your computer runs. If you, once again, if you have a low end grade, uh, low grade uh, computer, go to NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency. Turn it on or on Boost. Boost is going to make your GPU run 100% the whole time, etc. Turn off VSync. You do not need it. Uncap your frames. You're probably capped at 60 if you left it alone. Uncap it. Uh, I turn motion blur off. I don't know why they even give you an option in the game. Uh, depth of field on. This right here, guys, this is like looking through a camera lens. It'll even explain it right there in the deal. Field of view, I left it at like 0 0.1. I, I push one here. We can bump it up to 20. We can hand, I, my computer can handle it, but if yours can't, leave it at, just leave it at zero. It ain't no big deal. It's not that big of a difference. This isn't a first person shooter game. Okay. I'm going to scroll through one more time for y'all. We're going to go nice and slow so you guys can sit there and do it again. Might have been talking a little fast and you forgot to push pause and you're going back and forth. I've done it. I, I do it. All right. So now we're going to go to graphic options. As you can tell, I'm on low. I have all this off. I want you to understand that if you have a low end computer and it looks cloudy looks all really weird and you don't like the way it looks it's too foggy right it, it's making it making it look foggy i got some nvidia filters that you can plug in still run it on low and you don't take a frame hit we got a filters all my filters are off anyways here right here i like this spot looks great there's hogwarts hello hogwarts you're a little cloudy today not after the newbie shows you this Shazam. Little bright, but we can always tinker with it. I'm not messing with it because I'm about to bump my graphics back up and really enjoy the game the way it's supposed to be enjoyed with my setup. But if you are running a low end computer and you want to enjoy it as much as we are, Nvidia filters did not take a hit, but maybe five to eight frames. Okay, look. Off. Done. Go back out. 107, 109. We, I think we did a, as good as like 110. One, no, there, 115. Looking over here away from the building. But it's on. We're going to hit done. And this is the way the game looks now. Look at the distance. No fog. It's not as foggy. Brings out the brightness of the greens and the colors. Looks phenomenal. And I'm out, I'm still over 100 frames a second. I, like I said, we're not doing a first person shooter game. Enjoy the game the way it is. So we're going to sit here and go over these. We'll start at details. I'll wait for you to get him punched in. Yeah, the, there you go. Yeah, details. Yeah, color. Writer's contract. All right, like, there. All right, so details I have sharpened at 50, clarity at 70, HDR toning at 60, and bloom at zero.
that that was me telling you guys to take a snapshot there you go all right so we're gonna move down to color okay color second one you got it in that order okay here we go tent color tent intensity temperature vibrance we got zero zero twenty four sixteen snapshot there you go you, you're catching on i know you are you're smart you're smart so we went over the tent colors the tent intensity temperature and vibrance guys this is on my computer this is what i'm seeing you might have to tweak it a little bit right it's like if you don't like that all that green we can bump it right down Ooh. okay we're gonna go 0.5 i changed my mind chat here we go 0.5 good god look at the graphics you did not take frame hit i'm still on the lowest quality settings right now okay brightness contrast right it's third one right here see it yep snapshot yeah there you go you got on all right exposure i got at 28 contrast at 52 highlights at 60 shadow at 10 percent 10 one zero and gamma at zero so there you go i mean you're welcome right leave a comment saying thank you so i know that you guys are listening I'm going to go and put it on my settings, what I like to run. You guys can watch me do this real quick, too. If nothing changes in here. We're going up to here. Ultra effect to your fall quality, ultra sky. Shadow quality, medium text quality, view distance. We'll do high population. We'll do high. Ray tracing on oh, ray tracing quality. Add space. We have to restart the game now. Look at that adorable face. <laughs> I have the high ground. You underestimate my power. Gonna tell y'all that I'm making a fucking video. Do y'all want to all of a sudden use sounds and shit, huh? They're like, oh, well, I, well watch this ruin newbie's fucking video he's been working on for 10 minutes. <laughs> it's real funny. Hope you guys enjoyed the fil filters, the settings, and I hope you get to enjoy the game the way you guys want to enjoy it. If you can tell, I turned all mine up. I dropped almost 40 frames. But I'm okay with it. I'm having fun with the game. It's the way we're doing it. It's the way it's running for me. And uh, I'm really enjoying the quality of the game. So I hope you guys do too. And good luck to y'all. And Slytherin is the best, okay? I don't care what any of y'all say. Changed my mind.